today guys i have a scudder update for you uh, i've been working on it pretty hard trying to get it ready for uh this weekend i'm gonna go play with a bunch of hbi savages i'm bringing my short course truck um my low c ready to run thing it's actually my son's but he said i could play with it so yeah today i want to talk about the scudder uh it's one of my favorite projects i've been working on it uh pretty sh pretty hardcore for a couple of couple of weeks now and so thought I'd show you what's up with that. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Um, but here's the Scudder. What's up? Say hi, Scudder. Yeah, I don't know why he talks like that. He's kind of douchey. But uh, this is it, man. Been working on it. Been getting things done. It's, a, uh, it's, it's ugly, and I love it. It's an original uh, piecemeal. Uh, but check it out. I... Uh, Put some brake lights on it, non-functional, just there for looks. I, I don't feel like wiring everything to death. Um, I'm going to have headlights on it eventually, but uh, check these out. These are pretty sweet. Got these at, uh, I don't know, some craft store for 99 cents. Put them right in, and boom, I got something to pull them. They're rated for 25 pounds, by the way. Not too shabby. Um, but I got these braces in here holding the battery. I know the battery slides around a little bit. I got to work on that. Um, but for right now, it's, it's not horrible. It'll be all right, but that's where the battery goes. As you can see, I got the top on it and I got the, um, the hooks. Eventually I'll get some bungee cords so I can strap something on here, like a tire or, you know, a, a toolbox or something that'll look, look scale. Um, but it's looking pretty good. I got the, uh, Cloudbuster, uh, vroom vroom motor on it. Um, basically what this is, is, uh, this is a Proline tube frame they sold a while ago. Uh, I think they discontinued it. Um, I hacked it all up for other projects. These should be roll bars right here. I'm kind of mad I cut those out for something else when I was using it for something else. But it is what it is. So there's that. Um, this right here and these right here are from the Dingo. Um, when I was using the Dingo body, I had cut the fenders off for more clearance just to make it look tougher and it ended up looking douchier so the dingo body was crap anyways so i cut the fenders down shoe glued them together threw this on top and there you go got a ttc truck lots of room for the tires to move and not hit anything um i got an old wing on here from a toy i put these little fake lights on them <laughs> Because they're, you know, it's kind of cool. So maybe someday I'll put real lights on there. Uh, but I put this on there for people who don't know, like, uh, why the the old 70s Ford Broncos that used to race in Baja had the wing on the back of their roll bars. And I thought that was cool. It's kind of a throwback to those guys. But this is my TTC truck. It's going to see a lot of water. You're going to see a lot of mud. Uh, a lot of abuse. Um, I don't want to do that to my goat because I... Just like trail riding with that one and doing a little bit of mud and stuff. It's a shelf queen without being a shelf queen to go. I put a lot of time and money into that one. But um, as you can see, the axial box right here is holding the uh, receiver. And then there's another one where it's supposed to be holding the electronic speed control. Uh, I hardwired the motor to the electronic speed control so there's no plug. I don't have to unplug that every two seconds. Um, so that, that was my first time actually doing that. I was pretty psyched about that. Um, right now it's got the 2.2 Badlands on it, um, cause where I live in Vermont, there's a lot of snow, so I like to float across the snow on top and not dig down. So that's why the big ones are on there. I don't know how long they'll stay on there, but they're pretty cool. Um, the box came out. I got to shave off the glue. Don't mind that. Um, but it came out pretty good, man. I'm psyched. I got the, uh, you aren't going to be able to see it, but I got the holes drilled right here. So you can see the, the battery cable comes out, yoink, and then I can just plug it in. And as, I don't know, I always turn my ESC on and leave it on and lock it up into the box here. So I don't have to uh, worry about that shorting out. Um, it's not all, all waterproofed yet, it's just got the boxes on them. 
but I will get it waterproofed here in a little bit uh, once once the water and the mud start coming out. Uh, basic uh, SCX10 frame, brand new frame. I got that just for this project. I got the old axial links. I shimmed this axle in the back so I could get the, um, yeah. <laughs> can you see it? <laughs> the drive shaft up more with the links because they are the bent links so this won't drag as much uh and that's actually pretty sweet i won't tell you how i did it but uh so that that's pretty nice i'm psyched with that i got a junko servo on there so don't judge me i don't like using nice servos in the winter time they break really easy you know they break just as fast as the expensive ones do in the winter time um future plans i'm going to actually try and get an engine in here to fill up space and uh, run headers out the side like a true mud truck TTC truck um, but that's it man so uh, I got the stock 27 uh, turn motor with the stock running gear I think it's a 20 tooth pinion and an 87 spur I don't know but uh that's that man I hope you like it just a quick update nothing too crazy like I said I'll have some videos of it up probably by next week when I'm done out playing with the guys these are the tires that are going on it these are the um tires off the g6 or the wheels off the g6 because i have beadlocks for the g6 but um as you can see i don't have any uh ca glue yet it's hard to come by in vermont um you have to order it and well i'm broke so that's that and i'm um, gonna be cutting these up got a cool design to uh make these a little more grabbier um but that's it, because I like the 1.9s. I know you don't get as much clearance and whatever, but I don't know. It looks more scale to me. Not as scale as the 155s, though. Um, but that's it, guys. That's the Scudder update. I hope you like it. And uh, keep bashing, keep crashing, and uh, tell me what you think. All right? Eee! <laughs>